The galaxy is doomed. It has been decided that the zombies will spawn in 31 seconds and they will slowly devour the entire universe as we know it. Hello everybody, my name is ShredX and welcome back to Space Pirates and Zombies 2. It's going to be the final episode. I've decided that we're going to go down the blaze of glory as the zombies spawn in, kill one person at a time, leaving the rest of the galaxy doomed to certain destruction. Now, of course, my, my ship's a bit bigger than last time. Uh, we have gone through and I've played a bit over the weekend to get to this point. Now, this ship design is not good. Let me just let me just say this for one point here. This is not a good ship design. Look, <laughs> how the game works, right? I couldn't get large sections for my wings because I don't own enough territory to build them. So I've got a bit of a cursed ship design, but that's kind of me in general. So it's okay. Wait, is someone attacking my stuff? No, they're not. They're attacking someone else though. What? How dare they? I'm at war with like half the factions, by the way. They're not very friendly for some reason. It's probably because we keep trying to pillage and destroy them all, but that's probably a technicality there. Now, we're trying to expand as fast as possible just to get as much land, but I think it's probably too late at this point. I think the zombies spawn in randomly across the map in like a one location. So I'm not really, I'm not going to do anything until we see where they come in, because it could hopefully be over this way or so. Don't, I know, man. Don't worry about it. I thought, oh, wait, zero seconds. I accidentally paused at the last possible second. Where are they? Oh, they're over there. The zombies have been spotted. Look at the disgusting tendrils. Even the bandits are like, screw this. We're leaving. <laughs> this place is cursed. So the zombie alpha has arrived. Threat level 96. Not as strong as I thought. Now, unfortunately for this guy right here, he is spawned directly next to the zombie at Menace. Who is this? Roid Runner. Oh, Roid Runner, you're going to have a bad day. He's ambitious. He could have been a good find for my army. I just want to go a bit... Should we go over there and see if we can... Wait, go over that way. Let me just zoom in a little bit. So how the zombies work is when the game's not paused, there you go, is that they will go around the map and they wait, wait, can I not? Oh, I think I have to only move while my camera's looking at my shit. Damn it, game. Okay, so how they work, though, is they kill people. Simple as that. They will fight zombie captains. Or they will fight captains. If they win, that captain will become a zombie. And it goes like that. At that point on, if any zombie kills anyone, they will become a zombie. Even if you're in the middle of a battle. And actually, no, no, no that's okay. If you're in the middle of a battle and you win it, that means that guy will escape back to a star base. If you're in the middle of battle and you retreat and someone was left behind, that person will then become a zombie. <laughs> so they start with a single guy. Hopefully over time they start seeing them spread around. They've already got themselves a second system as well, which is kind of terrifying. What is this? Final battle ready. Destroy the zombie capital. Oh yeah, I think there's a thing where you... Oh, it's doing it. It's doing it. Oh, it's a bandit. Sorry, I was so excited. I thought it found a guy. So you can actually keep a track of who's a zombie and who's not a zombie. If you go over here, it's still just one. There is actually a way in the game where you can go in and you can convert someone back to being human using like a ton of resources. I haven't done that in like two years. So don't ask me the specifics. It just works, guys. Just as Todd Howard once said, it just works. Don't worry about it. Now, uh, I guess in the meantime, I'm just going to go and kill some more people. I guess we want to keep trying to span our faction out because I need to try and get more territory which produces sides. So we need to do something like this. This guy here produces side equipment, which is what we need to make my ship strong enough to potentially hold off the zombie menace. Though, of course, the intention is that we die, but I guess if we somehow don't die, that could be the end of the series as well. <laughs> We're thinking something out. If I like take over half the map, that could probably count as well. So I'm currently at war with the civilians and the miners. Now the miners are kind of screwed. They've been cut in half by a yellow faction. They've got five bits left. They're not having a good time. I think we should just wipe them out and go from there. Now luckily for me the zombies did actually spawn next to the two bigger factions. These guys are pretty strong and they should try and defend each other from certain dooms. So that's pretty good. Uh, now I guess the thing's going to be weakening this faction and trying to make our way in. There should in theory I can actually call on my faction to have a backup guy. So if I go here, who's the strongest person in the faction? Gambler. 72 threats. 7... Mr. Quasar. So I want to have a wingman that is extremely powerful for now to help me destroy some of these nearby locations. Join me, brother! 
I know, it's a common element in this universe. Everyone's hands feel like balloons. We're not sure what's going on. Maybe it's zombie related. We're not exactly certain here. I'm going to fight everybody until my friend shows up. No one showed up. <laughs> okay, so when I was all about this ship not being too great, uh, you're going to see in a second. It's very fast, but it doesn't turn. It's actually pretty cursed. But the good news is, I have a lot of guns at this point. I am absolutely stacked, everybody. I, I the, the hangars at the back, they're all, like, spewing out bombers. I got, like, fighter craft defending. We got, like, Gatling guns on the side. This ship is all over the place. It can defend us against everything. It should do pretty well. At least I hope so, anyway. Well, that was quick. Uh, yeah, so... <laughs> As I'm a faction leader, I have a lot of access to resources, so my ship is very strong compared to the regular um, captain pilot in this part of the universe. But there are still guys that could fight me. crew members referring to these scientific breakthroughs as level ups. I believe there is already a level up. We've done this one before, man. Get some new content, mate. <laughs> uh, so I can get 60% HP or 50% armor. Let's go for the armor. Your stations will be destroyed. So normally if you're playing normally, you... So if you're playing normally, the main thing is, you want to try and get your faction as big as possible. So killing other factions means you free up a lot of guys that can join you instead. It's probably a good idea. Uh, I just hope that the zombie will become ridiculously powerful quite quickly, so we can then just uh, watch him destroy the universe. In fact, I might go and help him, you never know. I can join his battles, kill the guys that he's fighting, and then leave. <laughs> But we see, we may we put a caveat on that one. That may be a risky strategy. If I get killed myself, it's bad. Where did you come from? Uh oh, wait, wait, get past the thing before it explodes. It's okay, we survived. I don't actually. How did that guy die? He <laughs> just immediately get blown up by like. I guess it was my uh, backup weapons just destroying him or something. This station takes a lot of blood, apparently. I just want this. So done. Sort of. You get a ton of loot for blowing up stations, by the way. It's pretty awesome. Timmy Greels, what's up, buddy? Howdy. You want to join my faction? Let's have a look at your re uh, resume. Bootlicker. Wants power and faction. That's okay. As long as they're not cowards I and or sociopaths. Maybe if they're not sociopaths. I will accept them into the faction, okay? Nice, we have a ton of slots right now. We have, like, what? 48 potential captains we can have in our army. So th the more the merrier, right? So now... Don't go to our base. We're just going to scavenge. There's loads of materials on the ground. We need all of them. Successful. I need more supplies to fuel my war effort as well. So what I can do with this plate... Oh wait, someone's attacking us. Is that attacking us or is that... Wait, what's happening here? It's just the Dingle Lord is attacking someone. Are you any good, my friend? Ambitious. We have ambition. We're going to join their battle to then get them to like me and they can become part of my faction as well. So the good thing about this game, which I absolutely love by the way, um, is that they will also spam themselves as well. If they have the scrap, they will just go off and build stations for me. They will go and attack things for me. It's pretty awesome. It is a truly independent faction of doom that we have. I haven't really got to do much of it at all. It kind of just runs itself. It's pretty awesome. Wow, my damage is way too high. Like I said, I prepare for the zombie alpha. I've not prepared for these <laughs> low fry bandits. <laughs> Thank you for that, friends. Wait, who's the one that we're going to get to join us? I don't know. Sorted. Okay, join me, Dingle Lord. I ask you to take up arms against the zombie faction. Thank you. Okay, let's go back to a base. I probably should move my capital to somewhere. I might move my capital here. Just because if I'm playing the game and I have to keep going to the edge of the map every time, it's a bit of a long travel, everybody. It's a bit, it's a bit of a long day. Especially because I, I have to go back to my capital to pick up all my stuff. So when I, so that means like I have to go back to the capital to pick up all my... I keep going back to the capital to pick up all my like trade... Not trade, what am I talking about? All my tribute and stuff from various lords. It's pretty important. Okay, back over here. They've got three territories now. And they, they got one. The zombies have expanded. The alpha's also gotten stronger as well. He's got... No! This is where this is why it goes really wrong in this game. So, if you're confused on what's happening right now, the zombies kill someone, right? If we go to the zombie mine mode, 
It's got a friend. 20, level 26, not a problem, right? He killed a really basic enemy. But do you know who he's killing right now? 92 strength. That's actually stronger than me, isn't it? He's actually managed to catch in combat though none other than the leader of the strongest faction in the game. If you go over here, the Sovereignty of Science. He has catched the strongest person in the galaxy, I'm pretty certain. Maybe another guy is close, like Jerry, the other guy. Threat level 12, dead. Pathetic. Din Seeker, 73. Void Militia, 58. Civilian guy, 71. He has actually just captured the toughest person in the universe. And he's going to kill him. This means he will then become a zombie. <laughs> oh no, everybody. Well, the intention is to die here. The intention is to die. So I feel like... It's just speeding up the process here. We're just getting faster. I'm actually going to set you as well. At this point, we'll set anybody that's not like really bad because I do need reinforcements and make sure. Because if they're in my faction, they help each other more. And that means they might not get themselves killed in crazy combat. Okay, uh, let me just drop off all this loot I picked up. Goodbye, loot. So I'll go, we need to try and expand into a place which has. Let's get rid of that as well. I need a lot of money, by the way, to build more bases. That's the main thing here. I've got 21 grand. I am also where you can spend this money to... Who won the battle? Is this still going on? Oh, is he going to get back up? Oh, I really want to see what happens over there, but it's too far away. Oh, no. No one's helping him. Someone help him. They've gone. Oh no, there's now a zombie Mr. Powder. They've lost their faction leader. Oh God, it's okay, it's okay. We're across the universe from them. Don't panic everybody, don't panic. It's not a problem. Excuse me, are you attacking my loot transport? No, let me just deal with this quickly. This is unacceptable. How dare they. Okay, anyway, we're carrying on trying to focus on wiping our factions expanding. I feel like now they've already wiped out a few captains, they're going to start snowballing. Because there's no limit on their expansion, by the way. If they kill a guy, they get more people. As simple as that. There's 200 caps in the game. If they kill, like, 5, that means they can kill, like, 10 at a time next time. It will get worse and worse. It's going to be crazy. Wow, my weapons are way too powerful. Imagine when I get my uh, mass drivers, which is a weapon you get for large wings, by the way. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Okay, there's a lot of territory down here because everyone's at war with each other. Is there... I'm going to probably only use my resources on wings. So we need the wings, don't we? We can potentially go for this base here, which has wings. This actually... Isn't this the capital of their faction? I think it is. We'll go for this. Oh, he's caught someone else. He's caught two people at the same time. He's... <laughs> that zombie alpha is terrifying. I presume Mr. Powell's fallen back to get some... So even though he has lost... He's been converted into a zombie. There is at least a silver line that they do have the same mechanics as players. Or everyone else. Where if you do defeat them in battle, they have to go and get equipment again. So even though they're zombies, they have to get equipment. It's not like it's just uh, they're infinitely more powerful than everyone else. Hey guys, don't mind me. I'm just going to start attacking your base here. It's all good. Oh, I'm not a war of them. Never mind, not doing that. Let's go this way instead. Wings! Wings! You don't understand. I need the wings. Is this guy attacking my thing? We've we, we got more important fires to fish. Don't worry about it. Why, hello there. Shame of someone to attack your base. Now, they have got reinforcements on this one, I'm pretty certain. But I think my ally got into the battle with me. Excellent. Okay. Let's go this guy first, and we go for the station. Oh, by the way, I have hammerheads, which are huge ships, by the way. <laughs> they are probably more powerful than I am, to be honest, without my wings, so it's pretty crazy. Oh, no, the nukes in there cause a problem. Oh, my God, what's going on? I think that was a gravity bomb. Are you okay? He's not okay. He's not okay. <laughs> no, he's, he's, he's fine. He's fine. 
Look, can you see my skill? I, I got a lot of reload skills. I recharge in like no time at all now. It's pretty cool. I wish I had more capacity though, because my weapons only fire for a few seconds before they have to recharge. But that's the danger of having so many guns on your ship. Okay. Another one bites the dust. It has been weeks, if not months, since the zombie apocalypse started. They are now, weirdly, the strongest faction despite the, the size of their empire here. They've actually managed to capture a good chunk of people. 46, I think that is the strongest. Maybe, no, that is the strongest. <laughs> Problem is, the guys that are not in factions are kind of bad, so no one wants to hire them. And they've also absorbed the entirety of the green faction. Now, on the other hand though, um, I'm pretty big as well now. I've actually wiped out the reds and the miners. And I thought, at this point, I've been sat around, there seems to be a bit of a stalemate because my faction's too large. I've got a lot of territory now. All my allies are pretty damn strong. <laughs> Which has kind of led to the situation where if they zombies come towards us, we, we push them off. If they go to the yellows, my guys are nearby, they go and push them off. And if they go towards the blues, they're actually strong enough by themselves to hold them off as well. But they are slowly losing, don't get me wrong. This is a doomed galaxy, but... With my time I have available in my life, I don't think I can sit around for 12 or 16 hours playing this until it gets to the point where they're critical mass and kill everybody. So instead, I'm going to play for like 3 or 4 hours on this, we're going to do a big old end video, and I'm actually going to play seriously. And that means I'm going to try and take over the entire galaxy, because um, if we, the zombies aren't going to kill me, I'll kill them. Simple as that. Now, don't get me wrong guys, the zombies are strong. I have successfully failed to kill the Alpha multiple times in this playthrough. I've also killed him a few times. The Zombie Alpha, which, where, actually, where is he? Where is the Zombie Alpha at this point? I can't even see what is, 133 strength. So he's gone actually, I've actually overtaken him at this point. I'm now stronger than he is. But he has like 500 times damage or something on his weapons. It doesn't matter how many points I have in my ship. I'll probably die in two or three hits if he hits me. That is. But anyway, so we're going to start our invasions. Now, the first thing is first, we're going to kill another faction. So currently the zombies are pretty much only going for the science faction. They just, they're obsessed with them. I'm not sure why, but they just really like killing them for some reason. So I'm going to declare war and absorb the entirety of the yellow faction. After that, we'll probably try and either kill a bunch of zombies or maybe we'll go for the blues. I think I want to try and avoid a situation where it's just me versus zombies, because that means they're just the zombie alphas can keep going for my star bases, and it's going to be a pain in the ass. Trust me, guys. It's not a good situation to be in. But anyway, so declare war in this game is actually pretty simple. All you got to do is find the enemy leader, and I mean, just press a few buttons here. Where are you? Sun Hunter Din Seeker. Declare war. I can also make an alliance as well, but I think the chance of me doing that, because this has been going for a while at this point, I think everyone kind of hates me that's not part of my faction, let's be honest here. Where is the science? Negative 78 relations, yeah. He doesn't really like me very often. Because <laughs> there's always like random problems, like people are fighting each other. If they're in a different faction, they're probably going to start hating each other like big time. So it never ends well. Anyway, so let's go and attack someone, shall we? Now, I, my ship has changed quite a bit since I've... Ooh. Oh, Roy Runner! I'll save you, my friend, don't worry. I'm on my way. Oh, feature expands. I don't know where that is, but we're going to defend it in a second. I don't know where that place is. <laughs> the star bases only go up so strong. Even if you completely cap out the defenses, there's a hundred odd. So depending on how strong a player is or enemy, it's going to get destroyed pretty quickly there. So my ship's not exactly perfect, but it's pretty damn strong at this point. Oh my god, what are you doing? <laughs> They're just powering in there. No defenses or whatever. I'm backing up. I'm backing up. So my ship has a lot of very big sections. Now most of my damage weirdly isn't on my guns. So I do have mass drivers, they're pretty cool. Most of my damage is on my fighter bays at the back. I have like ion bombers, uh, regular bombers, just a lot of fighter craft everybody. I like being a carrier, what can I say? We've also got quite a few curves on the front as well, but it's nothing too perfect. Whoop, let's be over here. Back up, back up. So despite my size though, I'm actually pretty squidgy, unfortunately. My I have not been given many upgrades with the shield strength, so I'm pretty quick to kill. Also, I'm pretty sure in the game... Sorry, Mr. Rose, sorry about that. Always might be careful here. I'm pretty sure if you put all the uh, cores next to each other, you get like a massive bonus of stats. I haven't done that. I've gone for more weapons, but I'm a very... Um, 
offense guy. <laughs> so I feel like having more guns is going to be better than having uh, more shields and stuff. That's mostly a me thing. Good job, everybody. Enemy destroyed. Sorry. Okay, cool. So that worked out pretty well. I also need to try and get myself some more um, hammerhead blueprints because they're only level two and they can get a lot stronger if I get those points to them. Four star. Now, what I probably want to do if we look at my ship. Sick today. Oh. This unit will now distribute the quota of condescending and hurtful remarks. Your mother's mass is greater or equal to the average mass of a red giant. Ha, ha, ha. Fair enough. I Chakra. decided to let a chimp from the lab select the last few data allocations instead of you. We have reached the scientific limit second. of banana peeling and fecal bombardment. Have I run of upgrades? We shall now <laughs> resume normal allocation procedure. So if you look over here, you can see all my bonuses and stuff. I got 203% damage increase. I think what's happened is... I think what's happened is I've actually got to the point well, I can't actually level them up anymore. I think I've got them maxed out. So I can only pick trading or scavenging. <laughs> Two things that I've been avoiding over and over again for the entire game. So I feel like um, I'll go for scavenging, right? Actually, no, I don't even scavenge. Let's go for trading. I don't think I've scavenged in ages. I kind of... Because I'm the leader of the massive galactic force, right? Every time I fly over to, to say, the starbase over here, I can press the collect tribute button and I just get... Ridiculous amounts of okay, that wasn't very big. Normally, it's ridiculous amounts of scrap. Okay, <laughs> I must have it recently. Oh, winter attack over here. Let's go and defend that base. Who's Commander Zip? Vindictive, ambitious sociopath. I swear I've actually s saved this person at some point, so I'm not sure where they want to take down my base. I'm not happy about that though. Oh my god, this is a big battle. Everyone's quite large at this point because as soon as you get a faction that starts producing large parts. Everyone goes to that faction and buys large parts. So everyone becomes just gargantuanly, like, ridiculously powerful. Uh, though as a leader, I'm more strong than most because I have a lot of money income from being a faction leader, so. Okay, protect the star base. Yeah, so I kind of want to... i got two wings on the left and right at the back which fire these really slow torpedoes. Now, if they hit their target, it's great, guys. It's absolutely amazing. Look, look at that. Half the HP gone. No, no time. The problem is, they're so slow. <laughs> it takes literally, like, it's pretty hard to actually land a hit with them. So I feel like I might instead replace them with more, like, different guns. But we'll see how when time goes on there. Don't mind me, friend. Dead. Kill them all. Get over there. Yeah, so with my, um, I've also set up a new core, haven't I? So if I'm going to span out the base a little bit, we keep increasing the size upwards. Because it means I can put more and more stuff on my ship. <laughs> if I have an extra one on each side, I can have additional, like, big hangar base slots and stuff. This would be pretty cool. Base defended. Okay, now the actual battles start properly, though. We probably just going to do what I normally do. The way I do kill factions is pretty simple. I just blow up every single star base they have. They can no longer repair for free. And eventually they go back up and fall apart. It's a pretty simple way of winning, really. Oh, wait. Let's be I'll defend first, though. Because the last thing I want to happen is... Oh, that's a big... That must be the faction leader. Or someone near the faction leader. Who's the faction leader of this guy? Didn't see... Oh, of course. Sorry. This must be a really powerful guy, though. The second most powerful in the entire faction. Well, my faction. Wait. Who's the most powerful in the galaxy right now? Okay, 158, 112, 183, I think it's me. I think I am the strongest person in the entire galaxy. <laughs> Unlimited power! Oh, you're going to run away? I feel like you've made a grave mistake attacking me. So kind of at this point in the game though, you're, apart from leveling up and getting stronger of course, you want to keep trying to get more and more higher tier weapons. Because you can quite easily at this point just go and buy, spend a bunch of scrap and get someone to make whatever thing you want. So I've, for instance, these mass cannons, I just custom ordered them. I went and bought them, simple as that. But the thing is you want to get ones of higher star levels, which increase all like the bonuses, you get like more shield, whatever. It increases everything. If you get higher star bonuses. So you want to try and get that as soon as possible. Always be careful. Huh? Is he going to escape? Fire the mass drivers! They hit like a truck, by the way. So <laughs> if you get hit by a mass driver, you're going to have a bad day. 
Wait, get this guy off me! How dare you? This guy's chip's pretty big as well. So long that vein. I've heard a few crew members referring to these scientific breaks. More trading. As increase the trading. Yeah, I'm pretty certain it's the only thing I'm gonna level up with now. Have I? How is this? Why is this happening? Let me just quickly check on the options. Did I accidentally change this? No, level speed normal. I think it's because we're just killing such large people. I mean, so when I was playing with off camera, I wasn't really fighting that much. I'm like, ah. The game will take care of it for me. It'd be I'm pretty lazy, guys. I can't help myself. Okay, let's buy one of these brick posts. And we're going to spam the chip out a little bit. So I'll put that there. Which means I can now get rid of these feathers. And we can get another big-ass thing in the front of the ship here. And also can move these up as well. Yeah, move that up. So that also means i got a little point here. Oops, sorry. I didn't mean to shoot through <laughs> Oops, <laughs> my bad, my bad. We've got a tiny little point here. We could put something in as well. I'm not really, I was gonna miss, that's fine. That would just shoot passively over time. I could install these Mac hammers, but we got a bunch of volley fire. The thing is I don't really need, I need more anti-shield. That's my biggest problem. I haven't got enough anti-shield. We got this beam. That's pretty much all I have. The rest of it is just ion bombers and stuff at the back. Let's have a look. Trade. Probably not going to find anything here, are we? We should probably go and look into... If we get out of here. Go to the part catalog. This is where you can customize what you want to have. So, what am I doing? I need an additional left wing. No, wait. Is that left wing? That's right wing. That's right wing. So, we need one more right wing. There's currently some for sale in the galaxy already. Uh, we can do more range beams to increase the... That might be a good idea. Yes, I'm going to do that. Okay, so I'm going to buy one of these. They're quite far away, but I can just mail it in. Send it to me. It costs 50% more money, but I'm rich. That's fine. <laughs> I can throw my money around. I'm a rich man. What can I say? Perfect. So I can't use this one yet, but eventually one day I will be able to use it. We'll just keep it in reserve for now. This is the uh, same thing, but on the other side. Okay, you can see they're coming towards me anyway from very, very far away. We're going to attack another thing for now while they're moving over. Ah, thank you. Okay, you... Replace... This. Done. This is a weird looking ship, okay? <laughs> I'm not going to pretend otherwise. It's a really, really weird looking ship. Is it attacking my... No, it's fine. Okay, let's go for splitting the space apart, shall we? We go for the capital first, I think. Uh, let me call a backup guy, though, because it is... If you get overwhelmed, it is pretty damn dangerous, this game. So let me just look for my strongest ally. Miss Gazer. Wait, are you seriously the... I saw we had stronger people than this at some point. Come and help me out. Okay, let's do this. How far away is she? Wait, is she fighting someone? Oh, she's in a battle. That's a bit annoying. I guess we're going to do a battle while we're waiting. Uh, sad Jester. Uh, that Roy Runner's going to die. Let's go and save Roy Runner, Roy Runner quickly. I'm coming, buddy. I'm losing so much resources. It's because of my uh, goons. I have way too many goons. Okay, let's see. What? It's working! Look at all these beams! <laughs> They're not very strong, but they can shoot across the map, so that's why I have them. Let's be careful. Yeah, because the main idea with these is the beams just shoot from miles away and the bombers go towards the enemy and kill them. But also we've got the long range, these rail cannons that shoot across the map as well, so I got a very like sniper boo. Oh! He died as well! See fair, he's only got like 34 threat. At this part in the game, that's not very strong, so... Kill them. There's my torpedoes. I feel like you can just fly away from the torpedoes. It's not really a threat there. Done. Are you here? Okay, let's go for it, wingman. More trading! Okay, I'm gonna go... Capital? South. 
cut them in half. That means we won't be able to buy resources or big weapons that will stop being made. Where's that? How bad is it? Uh, Kenny Dan's there. He's my original ally, but 82 strength, so that's a loss. But it's okay, because it's going to get full back in over time anyway. So we're just going to take them down. I'm not going to worry about it. Fight! Who joined this battle here? Problem is, I can't tell. There's an enemy ship. They all look the same size. Oh, I've got an ally! I was expecting that. Activate beam weapons! Out my way, man. I'm trying to shoot the beam weapons. Okay, there you go. That's a lot of uh, cloud torpedo things over there. I'm not going to worry about that. That's a lot. How many missiles like I just fire? Luckily, they're not that powerful. It could be a bad day. Sorry, Starbase. It does take a while for that to blow up at the end. It is a bit of a slow one going through these. So we could actually scavenge over here to try and get some more resources. I still a little bit. I don't really like wasting time that's not spent on just kidding things. But that's that's a me thing probably. They're going for another one? Oh, that's someone else. That's a random guy attacking my base over there. Not sure what's going on there. Oh well. So they have taken down um, Lambda's Drift, but like I said, we could probably rebuild it at some point. It shouldn't be too bad. I think we just go for the mad approach though. If they got no lands to refuel, they're screwed. We gotta get rid of all these goons I have. I can just donate them to someone. Take my goons. I have too many of them. Please. Oh wait, no, wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Build incentive. Someone build this for me. If you do, you get a ton of free resources. So now it only costs 3,575 pounds to do. So someone might go and do that for me. Simple. I'm still losing loads of resources. <laughs> it's because of my cargo size. I have way too much cargo. It's okay. Oh, there's a zombie in my territory. What are they doing? I think they're just nicking my resources. <laughs> How dare you, zombies? Who's that anyway? The Wedge. Actually, I think that was the first guy I got captured by the zombies ages ago. The first zombie. Well, the first converted zombie. Take my random junk, please, so I can go faster. Thank you. Oh, they survived. They didn't need my help anyway. Cool. I've got to keep an eye out for random battles, because if uh, Epsilon Prime... Well, just gotta keep an eye out though, because I want to. If I can, I will save my guys from being converted into zombies, because otherwise you have to go and rescue them. Well, rescue. You gotta spend res to convert them back into human, and that's a bit of a pain. This guy's got some interesting skills. He is a pacifist, but I think just having more people is probably a better idea. Let's go and talk to him. Join me! I need more soldiers for my army. 42,000 scrap. That is, um, a lot. <laughs> Perfect. I'm too rich. Someone help me. I need more cargo space to carry my millions. Okay, we're going to spend all that on this. Uh, so that was what? This much? And I'll do 30, 13,000 on this one. And someone should come and fill these in at some point. Damn. Oh, this one as well. So this one's already pretty much cheap enough already. I'll spend a little bit of money on it. On it. There you go. Done. Because so I'll probably have to manually absorb these locations to stop the zombies from grabbing them. What's my bounty, by the way? Uh, it's gone down. 6,727. That doesn't make any sense. At one point, it was over 10,000, so I'm not sure how I managed that. What the hell? What's going on with the cat? What's going on? Oh my god, look how big the zombie thing is! Why are there so many zombie eggs? Fire! Fire the giant cannons! Wait, who's that? I didn't even see that guy there. He just died by accident. Oh, they got my shields. It should be okay, though. My damage is ridiculous. Dead. Oh, don't tap me. Random flying thing.
Oh, how do they all miss? <laughs> I can't believe what I just witnessed. New star base is assigned. Perfect. Let's give them two over at the top. You get one, and you get one. You do understand. Scavenge a little bit. Okay, this little zombie's already over this part of the map. Are they going to tail the star base for me? No, they're attacking everyone near it, though. So they're going to probably attack the star base shortly. I might just leave the zombies to it here. Oh no, they survived. Then I'll finish them off then. Is that, that's not the alpha, is it? That's just regular zombies, I think. Yeah, they're just regular dudes. They're not even the uh, tough ones. Are they going to win? Oh, they just created loads of zombies there. They're getting stronger and stronger. It will actually be a challenge to survive, I think. This may actually get to the point where I do lose. It'd be kind of fun if I do. <laughs> I believe in violence as well. It's like a random tropical paradise asteroid. Imagine if we went out into space and this was just what they looked like, the asteroids. <laughs> What's going on? There's a palm tree asteroid over there, sir. What do we do? I imagine the zombie's going to grab this part of the map. Feature expanse. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Oh, my friend is super slow. Maybe we should let her go back in there. You go back to base. I gave her too much stuff and she can't keep up anymore. We'll get someone else. Uh, let's go for... Nava Stamps. The chosen one. Yes, I can hear you, my friend. Don't worry. They're going for my people. That's fine though, they got, they got the advantage there. What's happening over there? I always get annoyed because uh, I keep seeing the battles over the star bases, but they're not actually attacking the star bases. <laughs> it's really confusing. I'm like, oh my god, my capital. No, it's totally fine. It's just a transport that was on it. Okay, let's actually get rid of some more goons again. Actually, I'll get rid of the goons on bounties. Oh, the alphas. Okay, that's mine. Stay the hell away from my pace. So, I haven't done this yet, have I, on the video? Let's do, let's do this quickly. If I find a guy, I can press the button. Cure infection. Much. I got an achievement for it. <laughs> and they become a regular captain again. It's pretty cool. I don't know, what was this person? I just, pacifist, sociopath, forgiving. Okay, so they weren't very good. But they do like me, though, because I did rescue them from being a zombie. So, that is pretty handy there. Okay, let's go and stop the zombie alpha from just messing everything up over here. Bad zombie alpha. I think it's going to be a 3 vs 1. I have to see though. You've got to be careful because the damage is crazy. Oh, it's 2 vs 1. You might be in trouble here. I'm pretty sure that's the zombie alpha. Okay, my, my friend's going to get wrecked in a second. Or oh, I might get wrecked. Okay, I've, wow, my mass drivers worked out great. Oh my god, what is happening? <laughs> Let's get away from that. That's like a black hole bomb, by the way. It drowns you in, it does like a ton of damage at the end. You gotta be careful for it. That's a zombie alpha, sure. There you go, dead. Yeah, like I said, my build is specifically designed against a zombie alpha. Just stay the hell away from it, kill it from eight miles away. They tend to have a lot of, like, shotgun stuff on him, so they're pretty scary that way. Ooh, a bit dangerous. You gotta be careful, by the way. If you get attacked by zombie, like that explosion or stuff, when you have no shields, they actually infect your parts. You gotta disinfect them. It's pretty cool. Zombie destroyed. Ding. Ding. Are they coming back? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Anyway, let's go and get this sorted out. Someone wants to join me. I presume that's the person I just rescued. I'm gonna go out and say properly. That's what she says. Oh, yeah. Hello there. Welcome. Can I touch your hair? I don't have any hair. I should do. <laughs> Joke's on you. I shaved it off. Okay. There's only four enemy bases left. 
then this, this faction will be thrown into disarray. Trying to escape? Why did you join the battle in the first place then? Oh, no, no worries. Enjoy. I have so many fighters, by the way. I think I got 16 bombers and I got. Uh... Oh god, the energy thing! Oh god, run away! <laughs> that. <laughs> even though I might be strong, the weapons do the same amount of damage, so stuff like that is really bad. Oh god, what's happening? I'm thrown into an asteroid. It's fine. I controlled the situation. We're okay. Damn. Don't find that garrison bomb if you don't mind. Dead. I guy's got bounties in them. How much is their bounty? Five grand. Uh, wait, why do I care about that? I'm rich. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I just want to get more money, okay? I can't help myself. So the problem is, every time I win, the faction just keeps putting more bounties on the systems I just take over to get people to go and rebuild build quickly, but it's not going to work. They they do have... The, they play by the same rules I do, so they can't just cheat in all the stuff all the time. So they will eventually run out of stuff. And also, if you go, if you push the faction's uh, slot base count down, and they go over capacity, the pet people will start leaving the faction. So that's how they lose in the end. That's how they get destroyed. Wait, was that from me? I don't think that was my torpedo. I think it might be my friend there. Dead, dead, dead. Oh, hammerhead! Give it to me, I need it! What am I on right now? Two out of three, it's gonna take a while. <laughs> I really want that hammerhead though, it's such a good ship. Well, sorry, I really got it my bad, but I mean, I like, can make them better. They increase their rank, become stronger. I'm pretty sure that's why the zombie ones are really powerful. Uh, they, I think they're all five star zombie blueprints or something. Right again. There's only a few of them left. Gotta be careful though. The zombies are pushing in this, the blue territory. I noticed they got captured like two or three since I started recording. Oh! How can I be of assistance? Join me! I have the old faction leader in my army. I love it. Okay, who are you gonna try and kill? I love all these different faction views, by the way. I think there's also quite a few mods that add loads of new ones as well. I don't know how they can have this many. It's a really cool system. I absolutely love it. I probably should try and save anybody that's under attack at this point, though, just to stop them zombies. We're going to kill the zombies, right? We need to keep people alive. Who's this? The dentist. Everyone hates the dentists. We must destroy them from the galaxy. Okay, kill his little dudes. Oh, I want to see how quick I kill this with my... Mass drivers. <laughs> He's absolutely screwed. He's got like five different area effect torpedoes and a giant flying like disc thing. Oh, there's quite a few zombie things here though, so be careful. Oh, my friend's not having a good time though. They might be okay. But as long as we don't die, they shouldn't actually be turned to a zombie, so it's fine. No worries, random person. Do you want to join me? Oh, they absolutely hate me. Repeatedly. Oh, I've only got one option for perks now, so that means we have actually just done it. You're cured! We're going to convert the dentist to our cause. Okay, let's go and destroy the final bastion of the Sun Hunters. And then there'd just be three factions left. They'd be like the Three Kingdoms. I don't know, I'll be a uh, shoe. Screw the other two. <laughs> it's my... Lu Bei is my favorite guy. No, 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 no. Uh, Zhao Yun is my favorite guy from the Three Kingdoms. I kind of wish... Every time I talk about that, I was like, Oh, I wish there was a new Dynasty Warrior game. I would play that. I don't care about it, it's over. I would play it regardless. <laughs> I just like Dynasty Warriors. I can't help myself. 
I actually broke. I actually went and got my old like 15 year old PS2 just to play Dynasty Warriors 3 the other day. I was playing it over Christmas. Oh God! I should be paying attention. Come back, engine! Run away! I feel so powerful but weak at the same time. It's a confusing life I live at the moment. Is this damn... Is whatever this thing is. Okay, a lot of my hammers are okay. I haven't got any um, point defense in the back of my ship, I don't think. Oh no, I've got a flat cannon. It's just doing a bad job. Okay, I definitely took a lot of damage there. Did we lose any segments apart from the back bit? No, we're okay, we're okay. Uh, that station just flat out killed my friend. So, we're not having that. Bombers! Bomb! Go, go, go. My fleet of ships will descend upon the enemy. They will understand my true power. Oh, wait, no, not that. Oh, it's okay. It's too far away. Range beams, range. Come on, get in there. You don't seem to want to be ranging. How close are you to get? Oh, I pressed the button to change the fire mode. That's why nothing was happening. Damn it, me. I always remember that I am, in fact, my worst enemy. My biggest critic, my biggest failure is... Oh, God, get out of there. Done. I, I can't believe I did that. I was like, hmm. I'm pretty sure my extremely long-range mass drivers should be shooting the enemy right now, but they're not. Done. That, no, that, went, that, perf that went perfectly well. Nothing went wrong there at all. Uh, new star base. I'm going to give it to... Oh, there's a lot of zombies over there. We probably should go and deal with that. Okay, we've now just destroyed all the Sun Eaters. So they now should start leaving the faction over time. Uh, uh oh. Oh, that's it. They're attacking the star base. How did that. How's, there must be two battles at the same time. So there's no way they got that many people in the same battle. It's literally impossible. Oh, I'm so sorry. I got too much junk. No, I'm not. I haven't got any reds. I've run out of fuel. Oh, God. No, I'm going to miss it all. Please don't. No. No. Oh. I'm not having that. I may be slow. I may be fat, but I will destroy you all today. Dentist, help us cleanse the galaxy from these this zombie filth. Okay, let's fight these guys. I like the uh, weird slurping noises. I'm not sure if that was a zombie or just my guy I'm helping. <laughs> Could have been either of them. Okay, so this time, I'm actually using my guns, so it should be going a lot better. Be careful, buddy. Be careful. Oh, 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 my god, the Mr. Switchboard, it's over for you. I guess the problem is with the... It's because I kept saving people. It requires res, which is the fuel, so I just screwed myself over there. How do you guys keep missing these small strike cards? <laughs> and done. Okay, take all. I'm attacking the base right away, I don't care. Zombie base, I don't know what it looks like. Okay. Kill the base, everybody. Oh, my real guns are ridiculously powerful. Unlimited power. Well, that is disgusting. I don't know what's happening over there, but it does not look very nice. There's a lot of scavenge here. I think it's because there was like three battles and short sets in the same place. I'll take it off. Oh. Are they building a new base over... Well, dude. Zombie Alpha, back up. He keeps getting weaker and weaker. I don't think I'm the one kidding him though. He must be getting killed by someone else. At one point, I think it was before I saw the video, he got to 160. So he does get stronger, but at the moment he's not for some reason. And also, his shot craft were only medium or small, so he, at one point he had like massive amounts of large ones. Oh, look at all these bombing attacks! I have so many bombers around this guy right here. 
finished it. Uh, excuse me? I'm trying to fly here. You're just plowing into me. How dare you? Even more scavenge loot. Imagine science like 19. We now have 19 separate things for the cause. That is crazy. Okay, I'm kind of rebuild the star base here. They're not happy about me. Okay, I'm gonna give this to Rally again. What are they doing here? Stan, what are you doing here, buddy? What is your function, Stan? Oh, I thought I got no res still. Wait, I'll fix that. Oh, I have red. Oh, it's because, it's because, everybody, I am not using the fast speed mode. That is literally the reason. If I go over here, maximum speed, there you go. Wait, the zombies bypass me and start colonizing another place. This is the best place in the game. It's got four different nodes. What the hell? I knew it's so powerful. Okay, I want to get that if I can. Let me just sell this junk though, because we have way too much junk. Uh, my scrap wise, I'm getting pretty damn rich, but not probably enough to warrant. Because what I could do, I could keep saving up and just buy like the world's largest part or something. What I should do though for the interim, I'll just put a bunch of stuff on incentives so that we fit in all these systems instead of losing them all. Uh, so I'll just do like. 12k on each, and hopefully it'll fit itself in. My ship is your ship. It's got eight. Wow, rich. I am richer than I've ever been in my entire life. No, I refuse. It's the dentist. He just got out of his. He just recovered from his zombie infection. He's feeling a bit better. He's going for jobs in the morning. And he just gets trying to convert him back into a zombie again. Unacceptable. If I can, I will try and convert everyone I can back. Because it would be a quick way to win the game that way. And probably everyone I convert is probably going to come and try and join me anyway. So. I've got to get past. But excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. Clear. Who are you, Agent? Oh, this guy's over there as well. I can afford it. You're free! Free to join me and pay me tribute. Oh, Harry! Oh my god, look at this one. Harry is screwed. Should we try it? This is not a good idea. I just want to see if I can handle it or not. I don't think I can, by the way. I'm pretty sure it's a doom situation. Nice, thank you. Go, Harry, go! I'll cover you. There you go, everybody. This goes to show that this game seems easy if you know what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing, you die in literally under a second. Join me, random people. Yes, you can touch anything you want. As long as you join my faction. Everyone join me. We need the intergalactic super unit dudes of doom. Join me. Is he dead yet? I feel really bad for that guy. I just had to leave him to death. But I was going to try and at least try and escape the battle. But I can't even do that. It's absolutely cursed. I can rescue this guy though. So I can't believe that after I decide to take over the galaxy, the zombies start kicking everyone's asses and they actually become a problem. So I'm not sure how that happened, but it has happened. Um, so what we're going to do now, we're at a point where zombies have reached critical mass. Uh, so what I'm aware of that, if I go and look at their stats, they have 70 members. They have the biggest faction by far. They're bigger than like me and the space guys combined. I presume they keep eating the space guys' troops every time they hire them. So 
That's not good. So I'm going to have to try and change up the approach here. Because we want to try and win this, right? I decided an hour ago that instead of being killed by the zombies, I would destroy everyone and become the Galactic Emperor. That is going to happen, everybody. I don't care what the zombies try and do here. I'm going to, I'm going to win this. Uh, screw those guys. So the plan is going to be... Uh, first off, to get rid of my ship. We're going to go for the zombies first. So we could, in theory, attack the north and defeat the final faction up there. But... Why would we do that? Because as I'm doing that, random guys would be absorbed into the zombie menace over and over again. And then there'd be a point where I'm no longer capable of keeping them away from my faction myself. Because I'm so powerful, I can defeat a lot of them. But if I get 3v1, as you saw earlier in the video, it's very possible that we're going to lose this. So i got to try and fight the zombies wherever they appear. I have to attempt them to stop getting new members. Like over here, Admiral Bl Admiral Blorf is a zombie. <laughs> He was my nemesis! Let's go and rescue Apple Bluff. I'm coming, man. We must rescue my old nemesis. So I'm going to try and fight the zombies exclusively. We're going to take their territory. I'm going to focus on getting res to convert them into regular humans again. They can join my faction afterwards. That's the plan. We need to try and slow their expansion down or at least stop them from expanding even further. Out my way, man. I'm trying to kill my nemesis again. Oh. Sorry, Blorf. How the mighty have fallen and become a zombie. At least with his uh, graphic there, he already looks like a zombie in the first place. So <laughs> it kind of works out for him there. Maybe he was a zombie all along. This guy's miles away. So, of course, you did see already, though, the amount of res required to convert people back is, like, nearly 2,000. That's a lot of res, by the way. So, it's... I can't rely on that as the main metric. I think I have to take out their territory, personally. Done. Even if we can create a giant buffer zone or something, and we can push them further and further in, it should work out pretty well. Because look at this. They're absolutely swarming the science, guys. Actually, what we might do... There's a lot of them, right? It's going to be a bit awkward, but I feel like there's two approaches we can do here. We can go for the regular approach. We just move in, take them out one by one, and expand our territory. Or I can immediately try and cut off the front line between them and the Blues. So they stop eating all these low-level guys. Because the Blues haven't got enough territory, I don't think, to create large items. Oh, they do. They can make everything apart from the wings. So fair enough. But my faction has access to everything. Uh, so we can have some really powerful ships. We'll see. So for now, I'm just going to try and fight them out a little bit. I'll go for their bases, and we'll try and wear them down. Oh, guys, join me! I don't care if you hate me, join my faction! Why this guy really helped. Oh, it's a, he used to be a leader of a faction. Join me! I can't join that, that one's unjoinable. There you go, more people. If they all work together, if they're in my faction, they should be easy for them to level up because they got more access to uh, free upgrades and stuff. And also, they help each other if they're in trouble. So, definitely a good way of winning here. 69 members. 50 members. Oh, the batter. Wait, did I not rescue Admiral Blorf? I thought... Oh, I'm so sorry, Blorf. You're still a zombie. He may never escape the depths of hell that he has ascended into. Was that a really powerful nose? No, I'm wrong. <laughs> it's not a nose at all. Oh, there's a lot of them there. It's going to be a dodgy battle, but I think we'll be fine. Let me just uh, seep into here. Be careful. Dr. Lickenslick's nearby. He used to be one of my people, by the way. I remember recruiting him at one point. Damn it. I didn't even realize they stole him from me. Okay. Imagine there's only the mod like this for uh, Bound Lord where the Lord's converting to zombies. That'd be awesome. <laughs> so I'll make it happen. Oh, God! Oh, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Back up. Full engine. Get out of there. Oh, my shield didn't go down. It's just on the cusp of going down, though. Okay, my ally's gone for the station by themselves. They should be okay, though. We got rid of the main thing. I'm trying to turn around, but this ship is so hulky. <laughs> it's ridiculously bad. 
Look, it's got a lot of guns, okay? That's what we needed. A lot of guns. Oh, I never got... A uh, little bit here. I should invest in some more weapons. Destroy them. Don't get too close to that exploding state. Oh, he's fine. <laughs> I thought he was going to get himself killed there for a second. Dead. They're all dead. Done. I'm taking this directly. Um, By the void. Does he really have you pushing buttons down here? I press buttons all day. It's my literal living. This base will become mine. And I'm going to give it to none other than Tesseract. Good news about this as well, if we push them back. This is where it gets a bit awkward with the zombies, because the more territory they have, the more spread out they become. But And then they die, they slowly go back and respawn, right? But if you've got the final base and they've got 50 dudes, and they're just continually going back in and respawning, that is a nightmare, buddy. It really is. Uh, but you can see here they're going back to their bases really, really slowly, though. So you have some time. This is actually their headquarters here. I don't know if I can go and attack it right away. Should, should we give it a shot? Wait, can I just do this? I can, apparently. Interesting. Should I try this? I've never, I'm, I've done this, not done this in years, by the way. I, I've, I've quick saved anyway. Should we just give it a shot? Okay, there's a station and there's a zombie out there. I'm gonna back up right away. Get that alpha. Okay, this should be good. When the mass drivers recharge, got it. This might just break the infection. This is not how I thought it works. I thought it works that you had to have more power than the zombies to attack the fortress, but maybe I do. Maybe I do have more power than the zombies. I do own half the galaxy. So I might have accidentally bypassed that part of the mechanic. It's not like my ship's getting slower. <laughs> it's just becoming worse and worse. Oh, corrosion. Okay, there's a station here. Be a bit careful. I've got a backup shield there if I need it, so it shouldn't be too bad. Everyone, engage the station. Yeah, if I can break the zombie uh, hold right now, it means it'd be very easy and quick to destroy the science faction. Which would be brilliant. Thank you. Let's be careful. Finish him! It's definitely a very tanky stage of What They're throwing like viral spores at me. Ugh! Stay away! Someone shoot that thing! Whoa, 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 we <laughs> talk about this. I got my shields up though, it shouldn't be too bad. Dead. Does that mean I've defeated the zombies? I, I can't be the case, surely. We'll see in a second. Wait, once did this hit me? Oh, that was okay. Oh, it's not okay, that's damage. Ooh. Done. Wait, why are the last two enemies across the map from me? Oh, never mind. Sniped it. The power of the mass cannons. Oh my god. I've done it. That was a lot of... So, let me quickly explain. I remember... I can quickly explain why that's the case. If you go to sandbox tuning, zombie war, I think you are only allowed to do that when you are stronger than him. So, if you see the default setting, I think these are default. If they're not, I must have changed it years ago and I didn't realise. Player set to strength 5, zombie strength 3. So, that means that I have a massive advantage over them. Really, it should be this. Like, just make it all equal. So you have to have probably the same amount of troops as them to attack the zombie hive. But it's okay. We don't anyway. It speeds things up dramatically, though, because it means I can now go for the kill. But there seems still seems to be zombies everywhere. Okay. Why is he attacking my assets? Someone kill that man. We're busy over here. So now we defeated the zombie menace. I think they're going to quit start respawning. They do seem to be deleting themselves over time. There you go. Gone. Oh yeah, look at all these little pods! There's so many pods now! 
Do they like me because I rescued them all? Um, no, they're completely reset to zero. They have no memory of anything. Interesting. Okay, so we're going to go then. Declare war on the sovereignty. They have asked me. Sorry, I thought they had 50 members for a second there. Declare war. And now we go to conquer the rest of the galaxy. I'm going to quickly go over and just uh, fill in these bases myself. The drinks under attack is fine. There's going to be a lot of casualties at the start when the war starts. Because we need to move over and start attacking each other. So They're attacking my star base. So I thought I'd quickly cut away anyway. Because I just went and captured all the zombie territory. So now we just got us first the blues. I'm being attacked by a bunch of random guys though. Which is a bit annoying. But it is what it is. A lot of the guys that respawn didn't like me. Well, actually, they have no relations. They're just not very nice people. So they're just attacking me anyway. These are all neutral random enemies uh, that are just trying to kill me for some reason. Well, wow, this guy's shield is insane. I mean, I haven't got my uh, additional beam yet. So that'll probably help in the future. But what from behind me? That's a bit scary. Okay, he's dead. This should be quicker now. What's that noise? I don't know. <laughs> There's some very loud noises happening around here. Whoa! Why are they winning? Oh, it's just this blade thing! Wait, let's talk about this! Someone shoot the blade thing! <laughs> oh my god! Get it? Okay, engine, come back over here. Sorry, let me just uh, reclaim my property. Don't mind me. Did I lose anything else? I think it was just that. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's okay, the shield's held. The shield's held. Let's get you back over here, buddy. Good as new. There you go, nothing to see here. Well, that's a tanky strike craft right there. Uh oh. Ooh. <laughs> we're okay, we're okay. Wait, what? Well, I am waiting. What the hell? Why have I got plus eight percent in plus? What? Well, I'll take it. It's not a very good bonus, but I'll definitely take it. I'm kind of annoyed that they actually won that. Regardless, they they took over my thing. <laughs> How dare they? Let me just grab all this stuff quickly. Yeah, so now we're going to start a battle against this, uh, the blues anyway. So we're trying push in and kill them all. I don't really care too much if there's... We'll leave this stuff until later. The damaged territory. I'm just going to do it last time. I'm going to go in there and just start attacking dudes. Gonna repair this stuff with me. Done. Join me. Okay, I need the strongest ally my faction has. It's you again. Miss Gaza. Join me. I don't know why she's so powerful. Okay, while we're messing around as well, let's just grab some... Join me! I will become a critical mess to destroy them all. Trying to get... Are they trying to chase this bounty? I'm too slow, though. I need to get rid of some cargo. Let me just uh, jump in here quickly. Sorry, cargo. Oh, I can't. I'm over P. Is that... Oh, look at this! That's a powerful item right there. That is power. I don't know, man, but I'm recruiting everybody. Everyone I see, get out of my faction. <laughs> oh my god, I'm going to become stupidly strong. I've got double the units they have right now. I think some of them will leave because they're not happy with me, but we'll, we'll see what happens here. Let me talk to the guy that I can't see. I'm not speaking backwards. Excuse me. The drink is under attack again. Let's go and try and defend our territory. I've had to recruit a ton of people though, so that should work out pretty well. Well, I'm still super, super slow. Unfortunately, you can't really have that much in your inventory. It's pretty impossible to keep. I'm just gonna get rid of them all. Damn. Keep this okay. <laughs> I got two engines. I'm still really slow. So it's a bit of a nightmare, really. Okay, that person's been defeated by my allies, which is good. Let's just go in and start attacking. So I'm going to go down the middle and cut them in half, I think. That's going to be a good idea if you ask me. No. Oh. 
while I'm here. Oh, they keep thinking I'm going to try and kill them. I'm not. I'm just getting troops, man. I'm not hostile. I just want friends, okay? Many, many friends. Can I go back to base because my ship has got, actually got kind of damaged in one of those battles. I got whacked by one of those uh, torpedoes. It kind of kicked my ass. Uh, I've got loads of stuff in this stockpile right now. Repair, cool. Uh, let's see. Wow, I have too much stuff. This is insane. I could probably start using it to fund people filling in these random... Wait, what, how much does it cost to build one of these now? 20 grand. That's actually not as much as it was earlier. Weird. Uh, yeah, go and build this, buddy. We're getting close though, as you can see. There's only uh, there's a few sections left. I'm gonna go for this one next. I keep splitting them into half, <laughs> so they get weaker and weaker. They won't be able to. Uh... Actually, what we should be doing? What I'll do, I'll fill in the center line myself. Oh, you can go back to base. Like, you're really like either slow or damaged. I'm not sure what's going on there. Yeah. So if I fill in this group here, my allies will start moving in to defend this territory as well. So we have pretty much just cut them in half, and we have defense at the same time. Pretty handy. Oh, they're flying back quite a lot right now. They're definitely they're killing like two or three of my things at a time, but we are slowly pushing them in. This is why I want to make sure I grab the territory afterwards, though. Since they've got a small bunch of enclaves, it's just a lot easier to deal with than one large one. Okay, let's go for this. Yeah, we're going to have to fight someone powerful, I think. Who's that? I can't tell who they are. Oh, no, my engine keeps falling off. Oh, God, they're actually doing some damage. Okay, get back over it. Reattach. Game says no. There you go. It's back. Units, back to me. Back to me. I need some backup. These things are kicking my ass. Assistance is required, friends. Get over here. Okay, I haven't lost any sections. I've got to keep an eye on it. If they get blown off and I don't put them back on, I just lose them. So, good. It's safe. It's safe. Get back over there. Help, help star puncher. Punch the stars. That was a close one though. I took a lot. I have to go back to the base after this now because I'm hurt. Oh, I, if I just build the base over top of it, I can instantly repair myself. So that's fine. Boom. What kind of ship does star puncher have anyway? And he's got a lot of missiles. They seem to be obsessed with missiles, my faction. I'm not really sure why, but they have a lot of... Ooh, that's scary. Down to 170 strength. <laughs> I took a lot of damage there. Done. Uh, what? Star Puncher, do you have a place? I've way too many people in my faction. <laughs> Why have I done this? There's too many of them. You, I'm going to give it to the Watch Grog. Ranger? Look at this guy. Join me. Okay, repair all. HP back. It's good to go. Let's have a look. Oh, we're so close. We are so close to winning this now. It's not going to be long. What is that? It's literally an enemy with a single module. It's a... <laughs> wow! I have never seen that in my entire life. It was actually just these that little bit here. This my my center core bridge. That was it. Just flying around with two flags and no engines. <laughs> what the hell have I just witnessed? I have no idea. There's only um we just about clear out the northern enclave at this point. So after this, we can then head down and take down the last bit. Oh, that's weird game for it. Finish it. Beautiful. These stations take way time to blow up, by the way. It's literally been like half the video of me just waiting for these things to blow up. I don't even know if shooting speeds up. I feel like it makes me feel better, though. Well, everybody, it is the last bastion of the science faction. Their faction is swimming around like flies, unable to fight against the power of the Galactic Republic. I'm going to personally take down the final star base, and after that, build a, a new under my faction's flag. 
And at that point, we would have conquered the entire galaxy. And I'm kind of say as well, I'm pretty glad that I did this on a small map. Because otherwise I would have been doing this for dates. <laughs> so, luckily I've been able to do it in like six or seven hours instead. But, we're nearly there anyway. Let's take him on. My ship has not changed at all. I've actually been overtaken by some other people because I've just been lazy. But, it is still pretty damn strong. Wait, where's my ally? Okay, that's bad, that's bad. I should have a backup butt friend. Oh no! My ship has to break. This breaks every time this engine. It's really low level. Run away! Okay, one of me down. No, come back! I need you! We can still win this. It's possible. There's a lot of enemies. They killed everything. Oh my god, this has not gone the way I was hoping it would go. Okay, let me just do some long-range rail shots. This is why you want to have a long-range ship, everybody. Anything like this, shoot from miles away. <laughs> Don't even get remotely close to it. Shoot my mass rail guns. Fire! They don't seem to be shooting. There you go. That wasn't very effective, though. Okay, we've got the other guy coming in. We've got to get rid of this guy first. I should have a lot of bombers as well, but the bombers don't seem very effective, I must, I must say. I can't believe I've been abandoned by my friend. He's just hanging out somewhere else in the map, not doing anything. I can't believe it. Keep distance. Even though I'm kind of winning now, if I get hit by a big group of enemies, I will die. It's very, very possible. All my reserve ships are dead themselves. It's just me versus all these enemy fleets. Uh oh, it's going down. We're going down. Why are they so tanky? Go bombers. Bomb it. Yes. Okay. Another one down. There's only a few of them left. Keep retreating. Go that one next. They just have only large stuff. This is ridiculous. Look how far away I've gotten from the enemy base. <laughs> My retreating strategy is flawless. Although it's gonna, I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose. No! The things down. Come on, shields, get back up. Shields, you're so slow. Okay, activate fire. Go. Come on, get the shields back up. I can't take more damage. We're gonna start losing components here. Okay, there's only there's not that many of them left. We keep fighting. We turn around, plow into the enemy capital ship, go and kill the star base. We've done it, everybody. Kill it. No, not again. Kill that one next. It's weak. Yes. Okay, these guys are really far away. Go for that one next, guys. That one next. I do have loads of long-range bombers, which is why I'm doing damage right even being there. So it's pretty handy. Uh oh Also, I need to give myself some time to get my shields back up. Okay, guys. Uh, that one next. It's still in range of my mass cannons. So I'm going to sneak back towards the station while everyone's running away over here. Okay, I'll give up with these guys. I've been chasing them forever. We're going to go for the mothership instead. Everyone, oh, focus fire. Destroy the mothership. What kind of guns does he have? Oh, he's got a bunch of junk parts. So he's not that strong, but he can... Whoa, my DPS. This goes to show if I actually have enemies in range, I'm actually pretty strong. Okay, let's go and uh, head towards the station then. Are these guys going to suicide charge me now? I killed their master. They might do. Oh, this one's dead. If you want to kill me, you can come and fight me. Otherwise, I'm going to ignore you. I'm going to go this way. This might take a while. I'm really, really far away. <laughs> I may be bruised and battered, but I have defeated my enemies. There is a single star base left in my way. My intergalactic Republican fighter force will descend on the enemy star base, destroy them all. And at that point, I will be deemed the Galactic Emperor and wield unlimited power across the cosmos. They should actually start attacking in a second. I'm waiting for them to start going. Wait, if I stop, are they going to go forward? No. These bar bombers ones, the ones with the weird, like, fork. Are, oh, 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 let's be careful. Oh, God, the... Oh! <laughs> Stay back. Foul being. Give me that shield boost. Okay, this might be a problem. My bombers don't want to bomb anymore, and I need them to kill the enemy. Okay, let's be careful. These are... Okay, that random rock saved me there. That's okay. So a few hits left. Once their shield's down, the cannon should do the rest. I clearly have not built enough shield, anti shield on my build. <laughs> Probably would have been better off with the small range bombers, to be honest. Oh, there you go. It's going to happen quickly now. 
Every time the mass fires, chunks will fly off the enemy station here. Oh, who put that rock there? It came out of nowhere. It's gonna help me aim though. Finish it! One more barrage. I salute you, science faction. You put up a good fight. So do the zombies. But at the end of the day, there can only be one galactic emperor. And that is me. Excellent. Let me conquer the lot. Wait, I've got a new guy. I decided to let a chimp from the lab select the last few data. Let me do it. Build Starbase. I am the Emperor. It's all mine. Every single part of the galaxy belongs to me. Everybody. Now. This is clearly going to be in the series because um, I've conquered the galaxy. <laughs> There's nothing else to do, literally. But Lombo can join me, though. I know people didn't like this series much with the game. I thought it was a shame because I thought it was a pretty fun game. But I'm glad I did it because if you don't take chances, you don't go anywhere. Many years ago, I took a chance making a YouTube channel and playing Battle Lord. Then I tried, took a chance playing Star Scepter. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. But at the end of the day, it's all about trying your hardest. So, next series we're going to be doing is actually going to be Star Scepter. I'll start recording it tomorrow, bright and early in the morning. It's going to be 10 episodes specifically. I'm going to tell you this for a reason because on the 22nd, which is going to be the last episode, there is a game coming out. A game very dear to me called Dragon's Dogma 2. Now Dragon's Dogma 1 is one of my favourite games of all time, everybody. And I am beyond excited to play the next version of it. So I'm going to probably do something stupid and attempt another new game on my channel. And we're going to try and play it when it comes out. Of course, it won't be out on day release because uh, I'm not have access to it. So I'm going to have to buy it, then play it, record it, upload a video. It's going to take like two days. So it'll be on the 24th, the first episode. But that's the plan, everybody. So Star set for 10, 10 episodes. Then we're going to do Dragon's Dogma 2. Now, of course, I'm also going to bank on it maybe not doing great because it's, um, it's a mainstream game, everybody. Like, people that have, like, 10 million subs know it exists. So we are probably going to try doing two episodes at least on the main channel. And if it doesn't do well, I'll do the rest on the second channel. Because regardless of what happens, even if I lose my like my arms in the process, I'm going to be playing Dragon's Dogma 2. It's going to happen anyway. So if it doesn't go on the main channel, it'll go on the second channel if it doesn't do, do, uh, do too great. But it's going to be recorded regardless because I'm looking forward to it. But everybody, apart from that, I hope that you have enjoyed this episode. As always, please like, subscribe, and comment below. And I will see you next time. Bye.